Today we're in East Sacramento, we're on 39th Street, as I call them, the terrific 30s. This house is unbelievable. This isn't a house, house. this is an estate. Hard to find estate homes, a lot of the homes tend to be a little smaller. This is in the heart of everything. There is not one piece of this house that I would change. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you're looking for something that has a space, has a room, maybe you're bringing in a family, big family, this could be the house for you. Hi there, I'm Nikki Kaltais with Coldwell Banker. Today we're going to tour one of East Sac's most iconic estates. It's available today. Let's go take a look. Okay, and let me introduce you to Nikki. She's the latest realtor in the Mark McDonough team and she knows this area like the back of her hands. She is amazing. Hi Libby, thank you. Go look at, um, you've got the living room here. It is huge, beautiful fireplace. Towards this end of the room, we have the- it Connects to what was probably built as the music room. It's being used as a game room right now mm -hmm. and it extends into the library as well. Everybody wants a library. I need a library. You'll um, notice the arch windows here that are uh, repeated in the dining room and into the family room as well. Love this bank of windows that overlooks the flower garden here. Oh, the roses, it's, it's just beautiful. And then we've got the built-ins, a desk. I mean, I could work from home right here. I'd be very happy. <laughs> What is the square footage, Libby, on this home? The square footage is 4886. There's five bedrooms, three and a half baths in the main house, and then um, additional square footage in the back that we will see. The dining room. You'll see there's um, pocket doors on one end there and French doors into the sunroom on this side. Um, right. It was built in 1912, so you really get the essence of that in here. Amazing, and we've got the, the open beams here, and then we step into this light-filled sunroom, sunroom breakfast, breakfast room, room with the suite built in. There is light in here all day long. I love it. It just so dances beautiful. through throughout the day. This room, we walk into the kitchen. This room is amazing. An expanse of marble. We have a butler area. This is one of my favorite vignettes in here, looking out to the Xenia Garden. There's also raised garden beds out there. We have built-in fridge here, biking range, and what you don't get in this age home very often is an open kitchen family room format. So it really lends itself to entertaining. You have the eating areas directly off of it and also feeds um, right into the backyard as well. Right, a lot of the homes in East Sac are, you know, sort of partitioned off and you don't have this big open concept. Um, so this is a cozy family room. That's one of the things that I do love is as large as this home is, each space is very purposeful and also has a really cozy flavor to it as well. Um, so kind of the rest of the house disappears when you're in here enjoying the beam. I love the fireplace with the stone surround and the beams and the high ceiling with, um, I mean, it's old world charm, but modern conveniences like recessed lighting, who doesn't love that? So 
up here we have three bedrooms, one of which is the primary suite. We have a hall shared bath, wonderful balcony with views of the treetops and rest of the neighborhood. So it's, it's a beautiful room. Another sun-filled room. Right. <laughs> it also has a beautiful ensuite bathroom. What do we have upstairs? We have a landing area perfect for lounging, working out. There's also our two bedrooms, an updated marble bath. It could almost be a retreat up there in of itself. I hate to drool about the finishes on this house, but the bathrooms are so amazing. The flooring, the staircase. At first, when I was looking at the price tag, which you gotta check the MLS to find that out, I was a little bit like, all right, that's a little pricey, multi-million dollar East Sacramento. I get it, I get it. But after seeing this house, for the price per square footage, it definitely was a stellar deal for the area. And you're not gonna find too many houses in East Sacramento that are close to 5,000 square feet and as designed well as this one. The finishes on this, really, really stellar. And not to mention the breakdown of space really flowed. The scale of this house definitely showed that it was an estate house, but at the same time, there were really nice cozy areas where the family can gather. I absolutely loved it. Tree-lined streets, that's what you're getting in Sacramento. This house, definitely one of a kind. This is amazing. This is just absolutely huge, especially for this area in East Sac. Normally, you know, the, the grounds just aren't this big. How big is this lot? Just shy of a half an acre at 0.44 of an acre lot. It's an entertainer's dream out here. Right. As you can see, there's right. so many different places to dine and entertain. You have the tiered patio. We have the grassy area over here with the bricked fountain. So we could have a wedding out here or at the very least the prom pictures done. I know there have been charity events here in the past. They have too. been very gracious with their home right. and opening it to the public with various events. So a lot of people have been in this backyard if you're in Sacramento. I can imagine and enjoying this beautiful um, Japanese maple right here. It really is huge. It is it? glorious. And That's there's amazing. also the um, covered pergola over here, okay. which is perfect for dining. And if you have a green thumb, there's just so much mature landscaping back here right. to putts around with and we even have a garden room off of the garage, oh which is just one That's of my so favorite fun. special but let's um, let's wander over there a little bit. We've got um, another living area as well as a four car garage, which, you know, ASAC is really wonderful. Not everyone gets a four car garage. No, you so, are lucky to maybe so. get one. So four yeah. with alley access is incredible. We right. also have the ADU above wow. the garage, which, which is so cute. It's so cute. So and cute. almost 700 square feet has several different alcoves for the kitchen, mm -hmm. hanging out area, office area, if you wanted sleeping quarters and a full bath up there. So if you have kiddos that don't want to be in the main house, they can escape. And when you have guests in town, it's right. a perfect spot for them. This is just amazing. It's really a park-like setting back here. Right. And there's um, 
carriage doors here to the four car garage. So this um, was one of the first estates developed in this area. Is that yeah, right? So and this is part of the Wright and Kimbrough development. Um, it was built in 1912, one of the first ones and also on one of the largest and on the largest lots. You did, this is a very generous sized lot for East Sac as many are closer to between about 0.15 and a quarter acre. Right. It's, it's absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for showing us this beautiful home. I mean, it's just not every day that we see something like this. Sacramento is beautiful. We have so many beautiful homes. This one really stands a out. True right. statement piece. Right, a statement piece with history and charm, modern conveniences as well. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming. Warm round of applause for Nikki, the latest member of the Mark McDonough team. She knows East Sacramento, Land Park area like the back of her hand. And it got me a little bit of opportunity to work behind the scenes a little bit, which I love to do. This house definitely took all hands on deck. We're talking close to 5,000 square feet in the heart of East Sacramento. This house is in 1912. You don't really find too many houses like this with this type of finishes and this low price per square foot. Like I said, I can't tell you the price. You got to look on the MLS. If you guys are looking for a tour of this house, reach out to Nikki or myself. We'd love to work with you. This house, though, is, is I don't know, it's just so, uh, definitely classic, definitely elegant, and definitely one of a kind. Thanks again to Nikki. And guys, you got to check this house out.